I'm Peter Bunbury. I am a senior information assurance consultant and I work in the security and cyber practice here at Atkins. I've always worked in leading edge type technologies. I work with a number of customers on two tasks within two different business units. When you work in data security, there really is a, a process that you follow. And the first thing is stakeholder engagement. So you need to understand who your customers are and what is critical for them for their business need. After you've done a certain amount of exploration to understand about them, what are their key drivers, what they're trying to achieve, what their processes are, etc. You then sit down and with your customer, you do and define a risk assessment. What are your threats, what are your vulnerabilities, and what are the impacts? And in the world of IA, we look at three key things, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. And that's of your data, it's your information. Data information could be anything. It could be it's you and I talking. What do I tell you? That's critical, especially from a human threat. It's what are we saying to each other? What's being communicated? And in this world of multimedia, what's the device? Is it through the phone? Is it through a handset? You know, the latest with what's on the news, are you communicating through encrypted tools? But we also have to look at all those threats which could be internal, but also external. And that's why cyber is such a big thing these days, because you talk about the boundaries of your organisation, the periphery of your organisation, what you allow in and what you allow out. I've had some great pieces of work to do, some good tasks, and the customer really is the cherry on the cake. I'm more than I ever dreamt I would be doing, so I love my job. One of the biggest risks we have is us, is the humans. What a new task, actually, I'm about to start to do with the critical national infrastructure, which I'm really excited about. It's looking at the risks that could impact those particular sites that could actually impact the nation. Utility organisations, for example, the water boards, the electrical boards, nuclear industry. So we're looking at protecting many different sites nationwide. Working as a female in this class, do you know, I find more and more conferences I go to, there are more and more women appearing. Everything changes on a daily basis, monthly basis in the world of IA. We have new threats that come along and new pieces of work. So I've worked on some really interesting pieces of work that would never be considered pure IA, and they have been actually people-related, protecting people in their different industries. 